Yo, what's good everybody, man? We are back with another day of Doula, another day of being charged up, and today we finally have NBA 2K24, my career episode number one, man. Hey, look, I'm about to be spamming my career content on the channel, so subscribe right now. Let's hit 1,000 likes for part two. I'll post the first four parts of my career today. So, uh, hey, have notifications on, be on the lookout, and uh, let's get into it. All right, so here we are, man, the main menu of 2K24. Obviously, I'm playing it early because of New Zealand. If you change your cost to New Zealand, you can play the game early. But uh, we're going to start off by making our build. We do have a few cutscenes in this video. As you can tell, it's a 20-minute video. But hey, look, first off, I'm making my player. It looks kind of like me with the hair, the face, the skin color, everything. And now it's time for the build. The build I decided to make for my career just for now is a Steph Curry build. Shout out to Joe Knows. I literally copied his exact community day build. I was hovering above him, like right over him during community day. And I was like, look, bro, I'm going to take your build. And he didn't even know it. But yeah, a 6'3 point guard with a 6'6 wingspan, that's an offensive threat. So he can shoot really well and pass really well. I feel like for my career, that's going to be fun and interesting. So well, that's what I decided to make. Here is exactly the build if you guys want to make it yourself. It just lacks defense. But if you're good at the game, you can manage, in my opinion. So after I make our build, you can see it has shades of Steph Curry, Trey Young, Steve Nash. And what's interesting with this year with my career is there's no like storyline of, you know, you playing in the G League or anything. They let you pick your team off rip. So I decided to go with the Lakers. A point guard for the Lakers. I got to get LeBron his fifth ring. That's my mission. So we load in to the city and uh, it says, do you want to start your career or, you know, hop in a park? I'm trying to start my career. But first, I had to get VC. I'm not trying to go out like a bum on the court. So I maxed out to 85 overall, which costs about 190K VC. So make sure you, you're, you get a job or you have money saved up. And then when it's time for the animation store, I just chose a free jump shot, which <laughs> ended up being the worst thing ever. That Bradley Beal jump shot, you will see, it was torture. It was really torture. But dribbling is something I was really interested in. So I had to get some animations and, you know, cook up with that. Here is the map this year. It's so much smaller, thank God. Last year, I felt like I was literally like in VR, just walking through everywhere. It's so much easier now. And here we go. History in the making. You're about to enter the arena, okay? Not only did my father play, but my grandfather played. So I'm considered a generational talent. I gotta act like one. This whole storyline seems to be like a Victor Wembanyama storyline. So hey, our first cutscene, let's go. Day you see his son playing his first NBA game. I know I shouldn't be focused on this, but I still can't believe the grandpa's not here right now. It just doesn't feel right. It's okay to feel that way. I miss him too, but you know, grandpa would kick you behind if he knew you didn't distract you like that. <laughs> you gotta put that on the back burner, huh? Yeah, you're right. Now listen to me, there are gonna be a lot of people in the here tonight. But you and I both know what you've been working for all these years. Greatness. Mm -hmm. I don't care about the hype. Most of the people talking, they don't even believe what they say half the time. But me and you believe. You know, what do we believe? That I could be one of the best players to ever play this game. Yes, sir. That starts tonight. So as you can tell, history in the making. We have an objective for our first games to make our NBA debut. And uh, it's going... Th so I get the storyline this year. I'll explain later what I meant by Victor Wembanyama. But like... It's a high school player, a young player entering the league, and you know, he has some challenges. So it's either play like LeBron or Jordan in terms of get the, get the stats. And then we already signed a shoe deal, which is so confusing to me, bro. Last year, you had to work your way to one, but off rip, you could select your shoe deal for the season. And uh, here are all the, you know, the, you know, the usual suspects of uh, the brands. And for me, I always go with Nike. I just feel like, you know, Nike, the great company, they really treat their workers. I'm kidding. I just chose with Nike because I'm just used to it. I'm wearing Nike right now. That's kind of the reason why I did it. But yeah, we already sucked our shoe. Now we gotta talk to our coach. 
On behalf of Nike, I'd just like to wish you good luck in your first NBA game. Not that you need it, of course. <laughs> We're all real excited to see what you do out there. AMP, let's talk for a minute. You get me ready for this since I was six years old, so I'm ready. Okay, so that's why they say what they say about you, huh? Can't miss a legend at 19, the next GOAT. <laughs> yep, keep going. <laughs> Look, just don't try to prove it all at once, right? Look, you got the all NBA upside, clearly. So you only need to show flashes right now. Coach, I'm trying to show my full potential. That's the competitor's mentality, and I get that. But just remember that it's a long process, MP. As long as you tap into what makes you great, we're all good. No one is expecting a fully formed MVP on day one. Loud and clear, Coach. Great. Go out there and have a little fun. Hey, you know I will. Okay, so now you can see this right here. We have GOAT skills. This is something new. I think last year they had something similar. They renamed it something different. Uh, I forgot what it was, but it was something like this where you had loadouts. And for this, it's actually pretty simple. You could just, you know, load up your skills slots. The long ranger, you gotta attempt four threes in the game and you unlock it or whatever. But yeah, it's game time, bro. There's GOAT moments. This is what GOAT moments is. Unfortunately for me, I made the quarter length shorter than I should have because it's going to make it a lot tougher. But hey, it's game time, bro. Let's get it. Now, starting off against the Denver Nuggets. They have a good team. They have a championship team. I'm guarding Jamal Murray. I have no defense, bro. My build has no defense at all. But I'm relying on AD and LeBron, Vanderbilt, Austin Reeves. I chose a good team to be on. In first play of the game, what do I do? I'm being unselfish. I see LeBron for three, wide open, and we're starting off with the three. I mean, like I said, I'm trying to get my whole team involved. I made an all-around point guard build. The offensive thrash is said, not all around. And on defense, I just kept leaving Jamal Murray open. I was trying to see what can I get away with so far in my first game. This gameplay is kind of rough. You know, be patient with me. As you can tell, the shot meter was a lot slower than I expected. I forgot to change it to fast. But uh, yeah, it, it kind of screwed me over. Jamal Murray hits a three, but I still got a good shot contest, which is something I had to live with with this build. And for some reason, bro had the craziest green light in this game. He was taking nonstop threes. But right here, I call for a screen. Jerry Vanderbilt sent me a screen. I'm going all the way to paint and bro, what am I doing? I don't even have driving. <laughs> like, bro, I have such good dribbling but my finishing stats aren't good. So my goal is to be able to break ankles and get a wide open, you know, layup instead of having to take contested shots. Uh, speaking of, LeBron missed one right there. But it's your first game of this season. And what I'm saying with this whole victory women now is storyline, I like it. I actually like it. Because you're gonna see later in the cutscenes, uh, they mentioned France and stuff. So we're going straight to the league. We're going for GOAT. Like, I like what they're, they're focusing on gameplay heavy, I think this season or this year, instead of just pure cutscenes like last year, bro. Last year was like a movie, it really was. And uh, I was struggling with threes, man. I missed my first couple threes, it was really bad. But right here on the fast break, I get the rock. And I'm trying to see who's open. I'm open and boom. Here we go, our first green. I attempted four threes up to this point, which is why I froze and got me the goat skill thing. So attempt four three point shots and now, my ghost skills activated. I'm not too sure. I got to look more into that. Obviously, the game just came out an hour ago. So have some patience with me. That's why I chose the Lakers, bro. I know what I'm doing. I'm trying to have good athletic big guys on my team. Speaking of, LeBron James feed me a little late, but it's all good. I got to say, the gameplay is so smooth. Being a point guard dribbling is so smooth. I love it, bro. Check it right here. I'm in triple threat position. Calling for a screen by Roy Hashimura, throwing up the lob and hey, it's too easy, dog. I'm so glad I chose a build that has good passing. It makes it a lot more fun. Right here, fading away, full bar and I miss it. That's why I was confused. I'm like, bro, it's a full bar. This gameplay isn't even pro. I think it's on either all-star or superstar. I think once I get to like a, once I max out my player, get him to like a 90 overall, every video is gonna be on Hall of Fame. But until then, you know, I'm, I'm not trying to, you know, torture myself just yet. But so far, triple threat position, spin move. This is one of my favorite position, uh, possessions of the game. Look right here. I get the ball right back, pump fake, have him jumping, and this is why you improve your midi. I mean, that was just smooth, bro. That's like good gameplay to watch, in my opinion. It was fun to make it. And then, of course, I got my whole team wide open. You know, I'm trying to get my dimer badges, my playmaking badges. It's 
step back. We got Vanderbilt to AD. I'm cutting in. And uh, hey, charge of the game. <laughs> I didn't upgrade my layup. That's not part of my build. Right here, fast break time. I feed Anthony Davis. You know, I'm fishing for an assist. Might have been a little bit of a cheese play. But it's all good. Jamal Murray, big body in me. Nothing I could do about it. Literally nothing I could do about it. Like, that's just, that's just part of the game. I'm, I'm like a Steph Curry builder. I'm gonna be exposed on defense. But my dribbling is insane. My passing is great. It's gonna be a fun season, bro. And then right here, contested. Jamal Murray is like one for 12. And then speaking of one for 12, oh no, hold on, I hit that one. <laughs> I was gonna say, I probably went two for 12 from three this game. It was pretty ugly. And then nice pass to J, uh, JV again. But yeah, I think I needed like a different shot animation. And you can see players' cards this year too. Like you can see people's signature animations. Look at that pass, bro. <laughs> Looking back at this gameplay, I'm actually kind of kind of cold with it. My vision is out the out the moon, bro. I'm, I'm just gassing myself up. It's really not, but it's getting better. This is what I was talking about. A blow by lip. That's what I want. I want to be able to just fly past someone and get a wide open layup instead of a contested one. Therefore, I won't need dunking or anything. You know what I mean? But right now we're in the fourth quarter, up by 11 with two minutes left. It's basically over. I'm just trying to break ankles. Look at my dribble moves. Yeah, I'm gonna get better with it. I'm gonna get better. Guess who's open? AR-15, he's gonna let it fly him. Dang, come on, man. Hey, we're charged up for real, bro. This gameplay is, we were crushing them all game long. AD in the corner. Everyone's open, everyone's hitting threes. I love it. I love to see it. This is a good NBA debut. Outside of my shooting, my 15% three, make that even lower now, 14%. <laughs> I played great all around, besides the shooting. But it is what it is. We got JV open again, and I'm just dishing out assists like crazy. And of course, we end up winning the game. So my NBA debut is a win. And uh, hey, we're gonna see what is next. Here's the post-game summary, the recap you can see. I like the little area that we're in. It's like we're in a layer. But yeah, my field goal percentage was, was garbage. 14 points, 12 assists, I will take it. No reason though, but yeah. We're gonna have a tour next cutscene, and like I said, 1,000 likes for part two, and I'll post it ASAP. Yeah, thank y'all, thank y'all. Uh, wow, uh, listen, uh, uh, I do my best to get to everybody, but we're gonna try to do this in an orderly fashion, all right? Uh, why don't we start uh, right over here? Lisa Sims, Daily Horn. MP, you came into the league heralded as the best player of your generation, but you really struggled tonight. Were you feeling the weight of expectations? Was it first game jitters or maybe something else? Um, yeah, uh, there were some jitters, but that's no big deal. Everyone gets nervous from time to time. You just gotta learn how to deal with it. Bottom line, I wasn't good tonight, but it's just one game. Once I get my feet wet, I'll start making the kind of difference everyone expects me to make. Thank you. Next question. Uh, right, right over here. here. Right over here. Lina Becker, Sportbild monatlich. Wie fühlt es sich an, dein allererstes NBA-Spiel zu gewinnen mit Fans, die auf der ganzen Welt zuschauen? Lena Becker, Sport Monthly. How does it feel to get your first win in an NBA game with fans watching all around the world? Um, getting the win is huge. Hey, wherever fans of this team live, I want to make them happy because that's what it's all about. Um, gelling as a team, winning games, and giving the people who support you a reason to be proud. Danke, thank you. All right, we got time for one more. Uh, you, sir, in the back. Damian Patterson, City Free Press. What does it mean to you to be a third generation NBA player following in the footsteps of your father Prince and grandfather Chuck? Uh, yeah, it means I have a target on my back. I had every advantage growing up, I know that. And I've got all the natural ability in the world, thanks to my genetics. When you got both those things, people want to take you down a peg. But I thrive on that. It makes me better. Thank you. Next question. Um, right up front. Parfait, merci. Beatrice Corbet, La Compétition. Votre maillot est le maillot le plus vendu en France en ce moment. Avez-vous un message pour vos fans français? Beatrice Corbet, the competition. 
Your jersey is the number one selling jersey in France at the moment. Do you have any message for your French fans? Uh, oui, oui, actually. J'aime la France. Oh, très bien, vous parlez français. <laughs> what did she say? And she asked if you speak French. Oh, <laughs> well, there's your answer. Listen, they told me a few days ago who'd be here, so I practiced some stuff in different languages, but unfortunately, no, I don't speak French, as you guessed it. But maybe one day, though, it's a beautiful country, beautiful people, beautiful language, and, uh, hey, merci. <laughs> Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Thank you very much. Thank you. I'll see you next time. Thank you. Thank you. Just one more. <laughs> Proud of you, MP. Hey, you should be. I'm about to do something special with the family name. No? Level it up. You talk real big for somebody who just was crying because they dropped their uh, Ninja Turtle in the toilet. <laughs> Pop, that was like 12 years ago. I'm a, I'm a grown man now. You can't even rent a car. <laughs> That's why I got you. Uh-huh, and you're lucky that you do. Hey, I appreciate it, Pop. You're here to keep me on track. Uh -huh, and you know what the goal is. Greatness. That's right. Oh, uh, speaking of, you know who this guy is. Yeah, what about him? He just updated his all-time GOAT list. Says that you have a chance to make it to the top someday. For real? Mm -hmm. Take a look. So with all this talk about MP being the best prospect since LeBron James and Victor Webanyama being a generational talent, it got me thinking about my all-time GOAT list. Now, if you are new to the pod, you might not know that I have a passion for ranking the legends. I've spent a massive amount of time researching their careers, and I placed them into five tiers of greatness. You can find that list on my website, by the way. Now, I love working on my GOAT list, but these guys are so legendary that they tend to stay in the same spot year after year. So I decided to add a new tier called the Got Next tier. This tier contains some of the younger guys in the league who aren't quite GOATs yet, but who, if they continue on their current trajectories, will almost certainly be in that discussion when their careers are over. Now, you may be wondering who's in the Got Next tier, so let's get to it. These are in order, by the way. Luka, Embiid, Tatum, Zion, Webinyama, and of course, MP. Now, a lot of you might be like, you know, I put MP behind Webinyama, but they're basically tied, you know, as I see it. And if MP distinguishes himself early on, I'll be happy to swap him with Vic. So, let me know. What do you think? Is there anyone who should be on the Got Next tier but isn't? Is there anyone who is there but shouldn't be? Hit me up on social. We'll talk about it. These are the kind of people you want on your side if they're going to call you the ghost someday. Oh, come on, Pop. Media doesn't matter. It's all about winning games. Yeah, you're wrong. You need to understand how these people see you. I wish I would have played the game when I was your age. Look, all due respect, Pop, I'm not like you. I'm not going to make the same mistakes you did. I spent the best years of my career in losing situations because winning organizations didn't see me as someone that the head school on time. Because you didn't, though. Not at first, OK? But when I was with Dallas, they gave me a shot. Could have been sooner if I had played the game. <sighs> All right. Son, you're trying to do something that nobody's ever done before. And when you do it, believe me, you will do it. There's going to be no question who the goal is. That's how you leave it all out on the floor. Nice job. Thank <laughs> you. 